YouTube, it's Brian Phillips. Look at this, we've got the E-Flight F14 Tomcat twin 40 millimeter EDF for you today. And yes, this thing looks and flies fantastic. We're gonna show you right now. Yes, it does all that stuff, which is super <laughs> awesome with full functioning uh, Televons. And that's super awesome. And as you can see, we're gonna take off right now. The landing gear are removable. And yes, there's some cool features we're gonna share in this, not our maiden flight, but it's the first time we've flown with the wind calm. So here is nothing. There it is. This thing is equipped with safe. We're about 50% throttle here. Bringing that throttle way down. 2200 4S, 30C pack is fine. Don't forget, you don't have rudders, but you can still do cool things like fly upside down. And you can do all this stuff in all three modes. Okay, so here comes our second mode. This is gonna be the wings mid sweep, as you can clearly see. She's very controllable, 50% throttle. These things are notoriously difficult to fly with wings swept. And as you can see with these beautiful crisp clouds, no problems at all. I'm not in safe, I'm in AS3X, 50% throttle. Okay, here comes the full wing sweep, about 50, 60% throttle, a little bit extra boost, about 75% throttle and just cruising along, no problems at all. As you can see guys, I'm not struggling to fly this thing. I'm just bringing it along. Look at this, we'll bring it down for a low pass here. About 80% throttle. 100%, boom, there it is, folks. Just cruising along with the wing swept that's flying along, just no problems at all, absolutely no issues. Got to love it. We're gonna wing sweep in transition. Look at this, guys, doing a maneuver while sweeping the wings. Amazing, loving it, this is so sweet. And as you can see, we are now fully swept and just loving this, guys. This is a long time coming from E-Flight, and you guys are probably thinking, but we already flew it in the simulator. Trust me, it's nothing like the real thing, because here we are doing a stall turn, half rotation. Awesome, one minute remaining on our three minute flight timer, but we got tons of time beyond that, and camera crew and I are gonna go toward the transformer and see if we get a pass with the sun behind it. Just watch for the mud there, you should be good. Guys, just so you know, this thing does come equipped with safe select. We're gonna do one pass like this. We'll probably take the other side next time, camera crew. Okay. Just going down the runway. Oh yeah! Absolutely love the way this thing is flying in the calm. It's just been beautiful. And yes, that's right, we did fly more than just this flight and we will share it here if you guys just stay tuned. I think this one's probably gonna be our first feature episode. And then you guys can watch our maidens in the high wind. Yes, we were inverted. That is so much fun, guys. Just absolutely love it. Let's go to the other side of the runway and try to take a pass. We wanna get you guys different lighting. One thing to watch out for with this plane is that gray does disappear in all sorts of different backdrops which is by design, folks. Let's be real. This thing is designed as a killing machine. And of course, you don't want to be easy to spot if you're trying to kill your bad guys that are intercepting your flying, excuse me, your uh, floating aircraft carrier, which is where you live and stuff. <laughs> oh, yes, a little touch and went. Not a very good executed touch and went, I might, might add. We're just gonna bring it around. Oh, by the way, we have telemetry on this plane too. So I'm just gonna go into safe real quick. Here's safe. I'm just gonna scroll over a couple of screens. Oh yeah, we're pretty much ready to land out of safe. Don't be proud. If you lose sight of where you're going, just get into safe and let safe do its thing. The sun is not being nice to me right now. Cam crew, you good? Mm -hmm. Right behind you. Okay, remember no rudders here. I think we're gonna land the other way. So I might go up here and I'm just gonna corkscrew up a little bit. I'm into my throttle hard for being low on battery. Probably not the best use of our money. Excuse me. 
power. We're just gonna get up here. We're just gonna loiter and we're gonna take a short, quick walk. Camera crew is off the runway in yep. case I have to bail. So far feeling great. I'm out of the throttle now. There's full throttle. We got a plenty of boost. Man, this thing is great. It just does, it just does what it's gonna do for a long time. It's really awesome. That's like almost six, seven minutes of flight. I'm behind you. And we'll just relax. See if we can get a landing here. Really, really too fast. We're gonna redo this. I cannot believe she's still pumping out the juice. This is really, really unprecedented amount of flight time, folks. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna get the wings leveled off and relax. I can't use rudders to slip. So I just have to really bring it in and try to wiggle it. There we go. That's it, guys. Oh, in the <laughs> dirt. <laughs> okay, throttle cuts on. And I was nervous that we were gonna run out of power, but we didn't do too bad at all. No. This thing flew forever, guys. Two minutes and 44 past three. So that means we were almost up in the air six minutes. Let's go and look at the damage if there is any. Obviously, we kind of did a little bit of a roll over at the end there as you can see it's upside down on its canopy Ooh. and i gotta say this plane is super fun to fly you need a lot more room to land when you don't have a 15 mile an hour wind with you and that's what we did on our maiden so you may notice it's flipped upside down let's go ahead and sweep the wings and see if it sweeps i can't tell from here yep okay so we're in the speed mode now and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick this thing up and just show you. So you can see it looks like we popped our landing gear. Camera crew, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. The landing gear do like to pop out right there. And then right there. Okay, steerable nose gear. And then we did get a nasty scrape on the front of the wing there. And a little bit of scrape on the top there as we flipped it over. Now, I want to show you another feature. I think we have... We did it again, guys. Okay, so you've already seen, or at least you will be seeing exactly how to fix this. That is a safety feature that's built in. And don't worry, if you have to do it, it's not a big deal. It's super easy. All you have to do is undo one, two, three, four screws, okay? And then basically what happens is this top piece comes off. There's two straight clips here and here and it pulls out like that. Mm -hmm. And we actually demonstrated in a video for you here. If you guys just stay tuned, you can see it right here on Brian Phillips RC. So if you wanna help support our channel, guys, buy this thing from the link. We're gonna keep it really short because we wanna try to get this thing uploaded. The lighting was way better and the wind was way better yep. than our initial flight. So we hope you guys will stay tuned and watch our maiden. We had no trim. So just remember, three flight modes, trims on each, make the plan execute the plan, save your F-14. Also, we are using a brand new battery and that is what I recommend you do too because if you have a puffy pack, even a little bit puffy, you might not have the clearance to get your canopy on. So just go ahead and do it. Trust me, I know it sucks to have to buy new ones once in a while, but if you don't have a good 2200 4S, get one when you order this beauty and order it from the links. You'll help support our channel financially with contributions from the companies we work with and not from you. You can use all your coupon codes and all that good stuff and you get your RC bucks and dollars and things like that, but you'll be supporting Brian Phillips RC so we can bring you more content just like this. So stay tuned so much more on this very video. And if you wanna watch the Unbox Build Radio setup, it's very basic and very simple. In fact, you get more at the end of this video. So just stay tuned. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to smash that like button and come back for more on Brian Phillips RC. Stay tuned. YouTube, it's Brad Phillips. Look what we've got for you today. Super exciting. We definitely have an F-14 from E-Flight. Yes, it looks almost like an Ultra Micro, but let's go ahead and sweep those wings. Totally cool. Active Televons, full functioning televators. And yes, we are gonna be flying this today on 2200 4S and it is pretty windy. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. By the way, guys, this is our true Virgin Maiden flight. I'm just gonna show you where we got our battery, how easy it is to load this thing. I am actually using Velcro. I know it's a miracle and full disclosure, I used a new pack. 
I wanna make sure I don't have any issues there. Right here is the CG mark. It's right there on that piece of plastic. There's that line, looks like a little Pentagon area right there. Okay, we're just gonna test that real quick and I think we're golden. Now this does have a steerable nose gear, but it's definitely not gonna have rudders. So just make sure when you're in the air to keep that in mind. It's supposed to take a little bit of room to get off the ground. So with that headwind, it's gonna be perfect. We're about that direction on wind. So we're gonna see how this goes. I do have my telemetry screen pulled up and we're gonna respect the timer. But as you can see, the, bot, the uh, sun is right in our eyes, which yeah. is not ideal. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. So no takeoff flaps, no landing flaps. We're in takeoff mode. I'll show you how to set up the three flight modes in our unbox build radio setup. So stay tuned for that. Here we go, full throttle. She's alive, guys. She's alive. That is so sweet. I'm so excited to be flying this right now. We are definitely in AS3X and not safe. There is safe. Okay, we are gonna go behind us so we can see it. Oh, that looks so sweet right now. Very docile. Go up by the edge, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one thing to keep in mind about this plane is we've been warned that it's very easy to lose sight of it because of the gray. And I definitely believe whoever was telling us that because it is hard to tell what direction's up. And we are doing great on this mode. The only problem is I feel like I am having just a hard time seeing in general because my sunglasses, that's unusual. Okay, so no runners. I'm trying to use runners that don't exist. There is a steerable nose gear. But as you can see, I'm having trouble coordinating my turns because of it. So I wanna see if I can get, bring it in here and just do a slow pass. Camera crew, you're perfect. Just stay where okay. you are. The S3X has that thing locked in, guys. Look at that. Look at that cruising. Whoa, losing a lot of altitude there. Wow, that is so sweet, guys. I'm super nervous about this plane because I want it to be awesome. Camera crew, I need you five steps toward the runway, please. Thank you. Perfect. We're gonna try for another load pass here. Just bringing it in. We're trying to keep our backs to the sun, forcing the nose down. This thing is just really actually quite easy to fly in this mode. Look at that, guys. Oh wow. yeah, baby, that was so greasy and delicious. Oh, loving it, guys. Doing a lot of janking just to slow it down. And as you can see, the back taxi, it's got good ground handling characteristics. Didn't want to tip over even a little bit. Amazing, folks. Now, I want to just stop and talk about this for a second. You can actually use this plane and hand launch it, but just be aware you want to be unsafe. I'm just going to talk about this for a second. Throttle cuts on. Because we have three flight modes, trims are going to be attached to each of those flight modes. So when the wings sweep, then it changes your trims. I didn't trim it at all. I felt like that thing was rock solid and super well behaved, but I also felt like, oh man, I really w I wish it had rudders because rudders would help me to bring it down the runway. Although I felt like the wind was helping. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna reset. We got about 50% power and we're gonna show you the wing sweeps. Okay, folks, so you can see right here, our timer just went off and we're at 15.6 volts, okay? I'm gonna clear it again. That was three minutes. We should be able to get approximately that again. I'm gonna go without sunglasses this time for better visibility. There we go. Now you guys may not notice what I just did there, but I put the wheels over the edge of the runway just so I get a little extra boost. The wind is hard in our face, probably about 10, okay? I'm gonna show you what safe looks like here. You're safe, 50% throttle. That's not quite full bank, but look at that. Very easy flying. As you can see, I'm letting go. It just does its thing. Let go of the, let go of the sticks. It levels right off for us. Little bit of droop on the altitude there. Okay, now we're out of safe. We're coming around. Okay, now I'm gonna sweep the wings. Are you ready? Yep. Medium. Medium. Okay, here we go. That's wings swept. Everything feels rock solid, folks. Not even a click of trim, that is so amazing. Oh man, I'm so excited about this plane being actually as amazing as they said it was gonna be. It's really easy to fly. I just don't wanna lose it. I'm being gentle, I'm being nice to my power curve here. 
Okay, now we're gonna go full wing sweep if we can get it done. And yes, I am being super chicken on this. Okay, going straight and level out of safe. Here's the wing sweep. <laughs> oh yes, it's awesome. I haven't done anything yet and yet I feel totally confident flying it. It's just like a little Delta Ray, amazing. It looks so sweet. I hope it shows up on camera. Okay, going to full wings, landing mode if you will. And I'm just gonna see how well it slows down, guys. F-14s are notoriously difficult to fly with the wings swept. But I'm gonna tell you this right now, even in the wind, she is flying gorgeous. Absolutely looks amazing. Oh, Tom Cruise, eat your heart out. Sorry, I meant uh, Cruise with a K. Yeah, it's a different Tom. It's a buddy of mine, not the uh, popular one from movies. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna see about landing this thing. We're just gonna fly it into the wind, a little bit of throttle here. There we go. She's carrying. I'm gonna go around. No reason not to, unless it was dead, which it's not. Okay, guys, I can't not do it. Oh yeah. What were you doing? I was inverted, you know, inverted. What were you doing? C communicating. <laughs> we were communicating, flipping the bird, I believe is what we were doing. Okay, going into safe now. A Little bit of throttle. We're gonna turn now. Why did I go into safe there? You wanna know why, guys? Because I just wanna see how sweet this thing lands with safe. Look at that thing. Look at that thing sinking. It's just carrying forever. A Little bit of throttle. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it if I don't give it some throttle. Here we go. Woo! 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 Yes! Wow. Oh, guys, out of safe now so I can jank it like crazy. Now, the reason I wanna jank it like crazy is because as you know, our runway is about 225 feet long in the center. And look at that AS3X jumping around. You see the tail jumping? That is hilarious and awesome. I gotta say folks, super impressed with this F-14. Yes, it is extremely fun. And look at the wing, what the heck? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's terrible, what happened? Okay, so as you can see, I swept them back. Let's see if it comes back out. It doesn't. I inadvertently showed you a feature that I didn't expect to show you. Okay, full disclosure. There's throttle cut, okay. We are at 51 seconds past. So that was seven minutes of flight time. And just to yeah. show you the voltage here, look at that, guys. Brand new, admittedly brand new 2200 for us. Now we're gonna try to get you some footage in not so windy conditions, Hopefully. because I'll tell you what, I think the windy conditions were really actually helping. Look how easy that thing was to land. Safe was on it. It made it nice and level and easy to see. Visibility is gonna be your biggest enemy with this thing unless you have some amazing eyes. And I would say that I have decent eyes that have been chop suited many times for profit. So here we go, guys, let's look at this. You see what happened to my wing? You're like, oh no, your, your plane is broke, Brian. No, it's not. There's actually a mechanism in here that comes undone. But just to be clear, that is a safety mechanism for exactly what happened out there, which is when I janked it, the wing went down and hit the ground. We were warned about this. And so all I need to do now is just open it up, take apart these screws, and then I can reset that and we'll show you that in the video. So stay tuned guys. If you wanna help support Brian Phillips RC, do it right now. Follow the links in the video description below. Buy this thing for yourself. They have enough coming on the first order to fill all the back orders. So definitely get your name in the running. You may get into the very tail end of the first orders or you can be in line. But guys, I gotta say, super, super cool. They're calling it an experience level three. And I think honestly, they're being modest. I don't feel like this thing is that hard to fly, especially given the fact that it's that windy. I would say this thing flies great. However, and I'm just gonna say this, this is gonna be a lot like the A10 UMX and it's gonna bite hard when it bites. Because as you can see, I'm gonna have to go fix this, but we're gonna show you that's by design and a super cool safety slash longevity feature of this F14. So can't wait to show you. Stay tuned, more coming from Brian Phillips RC. Okay, so we just came inside. We put this thing on the plane stand and I wanna just talk about two things now that it's cool and we're, now that it's not Warm. so cold <laughs> and we're inside. My wheels both popped out of the front, so I just pushed them down. There is a, a noticeable snap. 
same battery is in it that we were flying on, which got us whatever we Seven needed to do. Minutes, yeah. So you can see, okay. So remember what happened out there was we had bumped this on the ground and it pushed it out of the way. And you're like, why is that pushed out of the way? Why doesn't that relatch? Well, that's a feature that's supposed to help design um, protecting. And I wanna talk also about the battery really briefly because I forgot to mention that in our Unbox Build Radio setup. See how there's a battery in there? And you'll see that I used a new battery. Why did I use a new battery? Because I have, you know, just about destroyed this one. And I just wanna make mention of that. If you're buying this plane, brand new versus spent almost, you may need to get a new battery just because it's not excessively huge opening in here, okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, we wanna be full disclosure with you guys when we're doing these reviews. So if you're buying this plane, 2200 4S, it's a twin, but it doesn't seem to bother the batteries at all. We have lots of power left. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in here with, I believe we need to just undo these screws. And we're just gonna take this thing apart because this is a serviceable thing. Actually, we're gonna pause and come right back. Okay, so the first thing is, I'm actually gonna show you this. This is a little cover that goes on the bottom. It's magnetically held. And that's where your adjustments for your televons are, which is just totally unique and something we've never seen before. And then look at this receiver. Oh, that was weird. Did you see that? That was so strange. Um, okay, so anyway, you can see where the ESCs are. This is a flight controller, the A3240, and it's got like micro plugs on it, which is pretty cool. And there's screws here, right here. There's one, okay? So now that's loose. Two, which this is now loose as well. So now this thing's coming up. And I really don't wanna undo these, but I'm gonna go ahead and undo them just so I can show you the proper procedure. Okay, so there's four total. And they're pretty small screws, guys, okay? So I'm just gonna lay these down. It's not a hard process. It just takes a couple of seconds. And you don't wanna probably have to do it in the field, but still. Okay, so that's four screws. Now, I'm gonna carefully flip this, look for screws if, it, okay, if they I'll won't pop you. out. They're gonna probably fall down. I haven't seen them fall yet. Nothing yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay this out of the way. Let me just lift up here. Isn't that all that we have to do then? So that just comes up and slides back from what I understand. There's gotta be a trick to that. I feel like it's almost hanging on to something a little bit. No, we're doing it right. It's just supposed to snap back. So I'm gonna just real carefully do this, as there carefully as I can do it. I feel like I'm caught over here on something. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so the off that comes. Oh. Okay, so that's yeah. pretty straightforward stuff. Holy cow, look at that. So this mechanism is what popped free. Oh. You see? Yep. And so this is actually what bites onto the wing right here. And I'm gonna try to do this in a way that's careful, but also shows what's going on. I'm gonna use my screwdriver here. This is plastic. I'm just gonna use this to bite right onto there. Oh goodness gracious, that thing has one, one crazy bite on it. Maybe I'd be easier going this way. There it is. Okay, now listen, let's, let's test before we close. So guys, you gotta admit, this is like something new and exciting. We've never seen this type of technology from Horizon. Or actually, I mean, we've seen some swept wing planes that are made on the market right now, but nothing quite this sophisticated, in my opinion. That is amazing. And this is a small plane, yeah. folks. Super, super cool. Really excited to be bringing these to you uh, early on from Horizon. And then these two clips are gonna need to go back in and then we're putting screws here, 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 and here, okay? And then these two are probably not receiving screws. They line up on these two points, okay? See right here and right here. That's where they line up. So it's like a, it's like a snap together model, okay? So I think I wanna start there to get my positions correct. Snap together, okay? Except look, we're up above. So what we gotta do is we have to unsnap those. They just come straight up. You guys see what I did wrong there? 
you got to get down here, push down your battery and everything, and then slide it forward just a little bit. I wonder if that'd be easier with the wings swept. Let's go to the middle setting. Or actually all the way swept. And then this thing is supposed to hang on there, but I can't tell. Oh, it goes all the way into that thing. See, there's a little pocket right there oh, and there. Yeah. Okay, so we'll try this. I wonder if it'd be easier without the canopy on. You know what? I think you're right. I think we're gonna pull that off. I just wanna keep the access to the mechanism so we can test it right away before we get it all screwed back together. Okay, so that's down, that's down, that's down, and that's good. So I'm gonna come back here and just get my alignment right. You can kind of feel it with your fingers and there you're ready to rock and roll. But just keep in mind guys, don't lose the screws. Don't mess up that process because as you can see, it's not a hard thing to fix, but it's probably something you're gonna have to fix. And if you do that, just be careful not to roll your paint too bad because I think some people are gonna roll the paint on there and they're not gonna be happy about it. So I'm gonna flip this upside down. We're just kind of gonna go back right through the procedure we did on the initial part and see if the screws are still in place. Yep, they are. And just turning the screws is a super easy process. It just happens to be a little bit strange. Okay, that one did pop out. There's one uh, right under here. Okay, perfect, good job. Okay. Thank you. Yep. This is why it pays to have a second set of eyes. Yeah. Okay, so I've got that on the tip of my screwdriver. It's gonna be a real bear cat to get that down there. Now, also, I just don't want this to go unnoticed, folks. This is pretty easy when you're sitting in your living room or your kitchen, but this is not gonna be so fun out in the field, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're making your decisions. This plane is definitely going to do that to people because I don't feel like we hit that very hard when we toppled that over. Because mm -hmm. gosh, but it did totally protect the wing. It did. So it's hard to complain about that when you've got a brand new, really cool, complicated, brand new, all sorts of technology packed plane. So now I'm just waiting for the uh, Carbon Z F14. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, so then this, this has a lip right here, and then that lip, and then this drops down. Okay, just work that around the foam, and you're golden. Guys, I've had F14s before. They have always been a huge pain in the butt to work on. First. First time we flew it, we needed serviceability and we had it, which is unusual and super cool. And you don't get that except for from the best company. So we're super excited to be bringing this to you, obviously from eFlight. And that thing looks just amazing. I can't wait to get out and fly some more for you. And hopefully you guys will be getting one for your very own. Let's just show you real quick how the battery goes in and out because we didn't actually show that. And we're right here, so we might as well. We'll go ahead and unplug this. Now, just to give you guys an idea, we're at 14.9 volts. We've been flying this for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and collapse my wings just in case it sits overnight. It's super easy to store this thing, just like in real life. The swept wings makes it a lot smaller. And also the cool thing is this plane, if you're gonna use it as a display piece while you get better as a pilot, if you leave the wings out, it will sit flat, which is super cool. But also with the wings swept, it will sit flat. And that's not always true. Many jet airplanes will want to tip up like this. If you get in a situation where you really want to display it and it wants to tip on you, just get a screwdriver. You know, you've got a million of these screwdrivers sitting around from China and just put that up there and that'll help it sit on its, on its mains. So just super cool, really happy with this. Good job, Horizon. This thing is awesome. It was definitely worth the wait. And if you guys are curious how to do the radio setup, there's definitely a couple of curveballs. It's not real hard. And we set up some audio vents that were just mostly fluff. So it says things like this. And that was as good as we could get because the nomenclature just wasn't available. But yeah. this thing is super cool. And yeah, sure, there's gonna be some issues and some of you are gonna say, it doesn't have flaps, it doesn't have LEDs. And I'm gonna agree with you all the way, but I'm not gonna complain because this thing is freaking cool. And I just really honestly, I wanna reward these companies when they come up with ones that we really want. And I know people want the F-14 because I've been screaming for one for years from Horizon and finally we've got one. Now, if we could just get the airliner. Anyway, just slipped out. Sorry, Horizon, if you're listening. But anyway, this thing is amazing. I love the 40 millimeter platform. I think it's good. It screams less than the 30 millimeters, mm -hmm. which are a huge improvement from the 28 millimeters, 
which were just ear piercing and terrible on power to weight ratio. This thing has lots of power. It does a good job in the air. It's definitely controllable. I definitely noticed the lack of rudders. I definitely noticed the lack of LEDs and I definitely noticed the lack of flaps, except when you're in landing mode and those wings are out, it's really pretty easy to fly and it will slow down nicely. But you're gonna bet your bottom dollar and you would win that I'm not gonna risk this thing right away. So it's gonna be a couple flights before I'm coming in doing high flares and really getting into it. Just keep in mind, you get this thing into a high flare. Oh, and by the way, full disclosure, you can take off and land like this if you want, if you're a really good pilot. So challenge accepted at some point, I'm gonna do it. I just don't think I'm gonna be doing it anytime right away because I want to enjoy this thing. And honestly, I can't wait for this to be a conversation piece on display because it is absolutely gorgeous. And you should buy one from the links in the video description below. That is the best way you can give us a pat on the back if you enjoy the footage here at Brian Phillips RC is just by buying this amazing equipment or this amazing equipment or this amazing battery, which by the way, this battery, full disclosure, if you wanna give me the XPC battery mm -hmm. checker, we'll go ahead and go into that to show you what we look like. Okay, so this after about seven minutes of flight time in the heavy wind, we wow. got 28% of battery. Now we kind of saw that on the telemetry, so this isn't exactly new information, but that's one of the best parts of having those smart ESCs and Avian technologies and all the smart technologies that are being paired up today because we're getting everything we really want in telemetry, finally. So definitely excited. Definitely consider getting yourself a brand new 2200 4S. If you don't have a brand new 2200 4S, this is what you're gonna run into. And I just want you to see this because we bring you the truth on Brian Phillips RC and that's part of the reason why you might wanna become a Patreon supporter. And if you do, it's in the links in the video description below. As you can see, that thing is fat. It would probably go, but let's just go ahead and throttle cut and throw this thing in right now. And you wanna just pay attention to how tight it is right here, okay? Okay, now that's approximately where it needs to be. There is a lot of room right here, but there's not a lot of room right here. Okay, so let's just watch what happens. Only depending on a magnet, also depending on those two wires to not be trapped on top of each other like they are right now. So I'm gonna try to rotate them and see if I can get them to trap. Now watch what happens. Goes back in, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. I'm pushing down. Now, could you fly like that? It's probably gonna look like, you know, Top Gun a little bit too much because this thing is almost almost for sure gonna pop off. Yeah. Now, that's the reason I bring that to your attention is because a lot of you guys are gonna fly pop, uh, packs that are puffed a little bit like this. I don't think there's anything unsafe about this. I'm sure Horizon would have different thoughts, but I'm a realist. This one has very, very little puff. It's like a 100C pack, okay? That's a Gen 1. This one has a little bit more puff. It's a 50C. We must have been flying twins on that thing. This one here is a 50C. It's a little bit longer, it will fit, and I just wanna show you this right now. Okay, this is Gen 1, so you've got your balance lead and your discharge lead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this in here. Look how much better that works. Even with these weird ones that stick out like that, see, some of them are nice and flat, some of them stick out a little bit more, and they do create some problems. But even with that, you can get this one to go, and I'm gonna show you, okay? That's why you come to Brian Phillips RC. We're gonna show you all the details, the details that everybody else wants to gloss over and say how beautiful, smallest, fastest, cheapest, whatever it is. This is not the est of anything, I'm gonna tell you that. It is the est, as in it is an F-14, and it is 40 millimeters, so that is <laughs> what it is the best at. Um, but beyond that, 16.5 volts on the telemetry, so you can see it's definitely working, and we have a nice tight joint here, so you're not gonna have that canopy wanting to pop off on you. Because remember, the only thing that holds this canopy on, on the nose, is a magnet. And so if you have a bulge here, you're gonna have to resolve that. Now, that being said, you can't just take material off of this canopy because there's not enough can canopy there to actually take material off of. That's only probably about three eighths of an inch thick, right there at the thickest point. So you're just not gonna have it. So anyway, guys, we hope that you guys answered all the questions you had about this plane so far, and we hope that you enjoyed watching us enjoy it because we definitely did. I'm gonna be charging this batteries. Hopefully we're gonna get some calmer weather and we can get some more and better flight footage for you right around the corner. But in the meantime, we really appreciate you being part of our uh, support system here on Brian Phillips RC. We know that uh, we're out here to help expand the hobby, get people back into the hobby that have been sitting on the sidelines for maybe 20 years. Maybe their kids are grown and out of the house now and they've got some spare time. 
or you know, you, the, the latest transmitter you had was Futaba and it had four channels and it cost $2,000 and you had crystals that went with it. We're gonna help get you up to speed so that you can be using the latest and greatest technology, which by the way is not compatible with the old stuff, but we will help you the best we can to get you from where you are, what you know, to what you need to be, which is right now and right here with something like this. This is totally sweet and you're gonna be here in no time. If you're a brand new pilot and you wanna to get to this plane, don't buy it, it's not for you. If you buy this, you're gonna be a one and done and that's the other big thing we wanna to help to avoid on Brian Phillips RC is one and done. As you see, we have planes and aircraft surrounding us in this, this is our living room. You should see the basement if you think this looks bad. <laughs> There's literally hundreds more where that came from. So definitely when you come here, you're gonna hear the no BS truth and hopefully the full story. We're gonna to try to teach you as much as we can along the way and hopefully not go too fast or too slow and strike the balance between making you fall asleep and um, you know passing a short uh, prison sentence. So anyway, we appreciate you guys being part of this here at Brian Phillips RC. We really do care about you. We care about the hobby and wanna see you guys succeed. So if you're a brand new pilot, don't buy this. You're gonna be disappointed unless you're buying it as a talking piece or some sort of a display. And then when you get really good, you can fly it. Horrible. Because you yeah. don't even need to be really good. You just need to be a lot better than Sport Cub S, a lot better than a Habu 50. You know, a lot better than the, you know, I don't know about the 80 millimeter F-16 is probably in the similar echelon, okay? The MiG behind it, similar echelon. Could our son fly that? Yeah, but I wouldn't want to let him. Well, I know. <laughs> I know you're going to let him. <laughs> I don't want him to crash it because I want this one. Right. Uh, but that being said, you know, that's one of the biggest, hardest parts about doing this hobby. Uh, when, when you have a family of family members that really love doing it too, is you have to fight over who gets to crash the plane first. Yes. So F-14 is good. Usually you. Yeah, it's usually me. So that being said, um, yeah, it's a little bit expensive. I think some of you guys are going to think that's a lot of money for that plane. I don't disagree, but just think about how much technology is packed into it. Mm -hmm. And then also think about it like this, that as a bind and fly, you don't have to go buy a radio. Our unbox was about five minutes. Yep. If I would have known exactly what I was doing, which you will, because you'll watch me set up the radio, you could probably have this thing out of the box and in the air in like less than five minutes. I mean, it's that quick. You literally have to build the profile, make three flight modes, set it to a switch, assign safe. We set some audio things up that you don't even need. So it says things like, I mean, that's, that, that took longer than the entire setup. The it, yep. It's literally an acro. By the way, full disclosure, this is something that Horizon was like, please make sure you talk about the trims. The trims are separate on all three of those flight modes. I didn't use one click of trim. And it's windy. And it's windy. Now, that doesn't mean that you won't. So you got to do the flight modes because what's going to happen is with those wings swept, the trims are gonna be a lot different than when your wings are fully out or when they're in the middle, okay? So just know that going in, our wind probably hid some of that. So when it's nice and calm, we'll be able to see the plane doing this or doing that or doing this or doing that, but you actively fly a little bit more so in wind and you also have to keep your speed up a little bit more in the wind. So hopefully all that makes sense and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, smash the like button, Click the bell for notifications if you wanna know when we're putting out new footage. And yes, as we get into more crappy, terrible weather like we had the last few weeks, it's gonna be harder for us to publish as quick as we were. We were doing like three, four, five videos a week during the nice months. And we're gonna to try to get back to that as soon as we can. But to be perfectly frank, when it's really terrible out like this, it makes it extremely hard to get footage. Yep. And we only wanna put good quality footage up as much as we can. And if that includes a crash, so be it. But the thing is, this thing definitely defines good footage. Love it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. So much more from Brian Phillips RC.